there's a train of thought floating around that the Democratic Party or the blue team or the left is trying to throw away the 2020 um, election. They they realize that there's just that they've done nothing to help their case or to push their case towards the American people. So they're just saying, screw it when it comes to <laughs> this election. And it's videos like this that genuinely lead me to that assumption to an extent. Now, I don't believe it fully because these folks are so wrapped up in their bubble. Like, I mean, a lot of laymen don't really understand how potent and thick the bubbles in politics are. You know, if you are from a municipality or a county that's deep blue, you're a, it's nothing but confirmation bias around you, which is why a lot of people can't under, can't quite comprehend how the next person thinks because that next person is living somewhere way on the other side of the spectrum. You know, like you might be living in urban America, whereas the other person's living in rural America two different experiences and two different trains of thought that lend people to where they ultimately wind up. So what this is, is the impeachment inquiry ad that the task force has decided to drop. And with that being said, I'm just going to let Nancy Pelosi take this away. Announcing the House of Representatives moving forward with an official impeachment inquiry. Okay, so they focused in on the word favor and um, the word reciprocal. Deal is, is that they, this is from the transcripts from the Ukrainian talk where President Trump was actually doing his job because if there is corruption going on in the government, it is the president's job to sniff it out, which, uh, which you know what, this inquiry is definitely going to come up to. There's nothing illegal about that. There's literally nothing illegal about him saying, hey, yeah, un if there is some weird dealings with between your country and this um, government official, yeah, you might want to look into it. So that there's nothing illegal in what he's done. Any, any other evidence you guys got for us? Becoming self-impeachable. Of course I did. Yeah, of course he did, because he's Trump's lawyer. He speaks for the president, and that's a part of the president's job. <laughs> They're having such a hard time comprehending this. They want, they are so desperate and so um, hungry to go after this man for any and everything they've ended up creating. It's like in the um, CNN video. They created the monster that they thought they were, that, that they set out to slay. You know, and what they've done, particularly through all these um, investigations, inquiries, reports and, and the like, is just build his um, his credibility because ultimately you find nothing. Susan Collins discusses her critical vote on Kavanaugh nomination. Oh, it, it, he's in there. He didn't go after Roe v. Wade. Stop. Like, come on, stop it. Okay, so here's the deal. Um, my senator is Cory Booker. Yeah, I know. I, I heard I heard that sigh that you just put out. Deal, deal is, dude, is all about the party. All this entire inquiry is about the party. And you're like, oh, contact your contact your senator today and have them vote uh, country over party. No, if you wanted to go country over party, you would, what's the name? Like, this wouldn't even be a thing. We'd all be working together in order to, you know, create the, 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 the utopia we all seek. But the, that's the thing. That utopia is different for every single individual. For what? They would have to be patriots and remove Trump from office. But there, you've yet to produce a legitimate argument in favor of removing him from office, which is why you end up looking dumb time after time after time. You can charge the President of the United States with a 
obstruction of justice after he left office. Yes. You could charge the president after he left office. And you want to know, that's the thing about the Mueller thing, is that he left it in the hands of Congress and Congress didn't have enough to go on. He said, hey, it, it's it, I can't, I'm not going to prosecute him. Like, I, I, I'm not in a position to prosecute him, but Congress can definitely drop those charges. What did Congress do? They balked. Absolutely nothing. There's a paper trail. Oh, Rachel Maddow is nutty behind. She has zero credibility. This is a terrible ad. And everything that they're using is from NBC and MSNBC. And I'm pretty sure there's some CNN mixed up in here. What did you want President Zelensky to do about Vice President Biden and his son Hunter? Are you talking to me? Call your senators now with some trash number we're not even going to uh, focus on. Deal is, guys, is that they have absolutely nothing. You calling your senator will do absolutely nothing because at the end of the day, particularly if, if he goes into 2020 with impeachment over his head after all of the failed attempts for the past um, three, four years to get this man. Trust me, he he's going to it's a cakewalk. He's going to walk right back in. I've already said he's going to win re-election. But what I'm saying is, is that you're making it easier for him. And instead of recognizing that, because I, at this point, I refuse to believe that this man is, I'm not, I'm not going to underestimate this man at all. So <laughs> and I genuinely believe it when it comes to a lot of the fires that he starts, he starts these fires on purpose to get the media riled up and to 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 have a little sleight of hand and be able to do things that to do the rest of the stuff with less media attention that he wants to do. I mean, it's actually beautiful. And then and then instead of the media recognizing this and saying, you know what, okay, we're gonna scale it back when it comes to President Trump and we'll focus in on the policies and the legislation that's getting knocked out and, and keep our eyes where the prize truly is, what they do, no nah, man, we gotta chase this rating high. They're they're just following the 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 purple the purple hippo they chasing the high of the of the ratings bump that you know just even speaking about the president tends to give everyone else except for me because when i do trump videos yeah they they damn sure don't get any kind of uh, traction but it is what it is i do this because it's a necessary it's necessary so with that being said we're going to bring this one to an end all the internet stuff if you liked it toss it a like dislike yeah well, go ahead do that too i'm not scared of you sub if you enjoy a fantastic voice and you want to give videos like this every single day share because sharing is caring and youtube and bitch shooting alike i mean we're, we'll work it out we'll, we'll get through that and speak let me know what do you think in the comments do you disagree do you think that there is something that they can catch them on you think that um <clears throat> there is some type of um uh illegality that they could have hit them with already and just haven't because they've tossed literally everything but the kitchen sink at this man and here he is still standing still doing his thing so i'd like to know what you think in the comments and until the next one